Are you wondering how to get approved as an out school teacher to start teaching on their awesome platform? In this video, I'm going to go over the brand new application process that requires a longer video. I'm going to share with you my first application that got rejected and my second application that got approved and the differences between the two and what you should do to make sure that you can become a approved out school teacher. I'm Mandy Summers, business coach and online teacher. And for the best out school tips and tools, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to teach you how to download my out school resource guide that will help you in your application process. But let's jump right in. So I decided this, this last week to jump in and try this out school platform. My brother-in-law has been teaching on it on out school now for about two months and he's had some really great success with it. So I thought, why not jump into the mix and see uh, how the process goes. So in the time between he, when he got approved and when I got approved, the application process changed. So instead of needing just a 60 to 90 second video, it's a three to five minute video. And they got a little more specific with what, what they were looking for on the application. So the first time around, I went through, did my entire application, filmed my video, uploaded it and sent it off. And so the first tip that I am recommending for anybody who's applying to OutSchool is that you run everything that you type out through Grammarly.com or some kind of grammar program. This will ensure that your grammar is perfect, you have no spelling errors, and all your sentences are flowing well. Now, I did not do this the first time, but I did go back through. I didn't have any spelling errors and things like that, but I made sure the second time to throw it through Grammarly and everything was perfect. Okay, the second thing is to only focus on one class. So the first time I applied, I had like three different ideas that I was super excited about. I actually have a, an online YouTube course already created that is an evergreen course that people can enroll in if they're wanting to learn how to grow a channel on YouTube. So I put that entire course into my application and I broke it down by section and I was really excited to teach an intro and then five other classes that were all about YouTube because these are classes I've already designed and they're already up online. So it would be super simple. So I did that one and then I also also added two other class ideas that I had. I happened to design wedding dresses that are turned into princess dresses and so I had this idea to dress up as a different princess, a princess preschool each week. And so I put that on there and my ideas for that and like the different classes for that one. And then I had one other idea that I was thinking of doing. So I put all that on there on the application. Then when it came to breaking down just one class, I focused on the YouTube class and I went through that. So as you're filling out your application, it's going to ask you about your different education backgrounds and your experiences with teaching. Now, a degree is not required to teach without school, which I love because I don't actually have a degree. I'm working on getting my business degree right now. So um, I went through and I highlighted just my associate's degree that I have, my, uh, my experience with teaching youth with our church, with um, being a high school basketball coach, just all the different things, being an online business coach, things like that that I've done, I put all that experience in there. But the one thing I noticed was that I, when I went to do my application the second time, is that I should have put all my experience that had to do with the class I was focusing on, my YouTube class, at the top. They want to be able to look at this, it's kind of like a resume, and see your experience and your, your passion about what you're teaching. And so the second time through, I actually changed topics. I came up with a very basic topic, and my topic was how to use Zoom. I had seen that this was on the list of classes that, that parents were asking for, and I thought this is a great beginner class. I am a pro with Zoom. I use it multiple times a week as an online business coach. And so I tailored my entire second application 
all around that one topic. So I took out my YouTube, I took out my princess dresses, I took everything out because once you're approved as an out school teacher, you can teach whatever you want. And I focused on just the one class. So I went through, I redid my entire application. In my education section, I started out saying I have been teaching on Zoom for the last six years and I've been helping online business owners learn how to use Zoom in their businesses for the last five years. And so then after that, I put my other things like high school basketball coach, like other things like that, but that was my top line in education is the experience that I had teaching the topic that um, I was applying for. Now, as I went through and uh, finished the rest of the application, I, like I said, I focused on just the one class and I kept it short and sweet. The time that I applied the first time around, it was really long and very, very detailed, like a very detailed um, class outline because like I said, these are co courses that I've already created and I've got hours and hours of content on that. This time around, I took the one basic class, I made wrote one paragraph about that class and kept it simple like that. Now, when I redid my video, I, uh, the first time through, I had watched a video on YouTube and she had recommended that you don't do any intro at the beginning, that you just start teaching your class as if the kids are there watching. And so I did that. I started out, I introduced myself. Hi, my name is Mandy. I'm really excited to teach this class on how to grow a YouTube channel today. And I went through and I gave them two tips that took me five minutes to teach that whole time. I uploaded that, I hit submit, and two hours later it came back rejected. Okay, the second time, which I actually reapplied less than 24 hours later. And I went through, I simplified everything on my application, like I said before, and my video, I changed up. I started out, I did about a minute and a half of here's who I am, I'm a mom, I'm a business coach, and here's my experience. I've been using, I basically took my application and I read it to them. I've been using Zoom for the last six years. I've been teaching people how to use Zoom in their businesses for the last five, and I'm really excited to share with some of these students uh, some of my favorite tips and making sure that they're having an enjoyable time. So, and then I said, okay, now I'm gonna switch into teaching mode and you can see how I'm gonna teach. And so I paused and then I um, started up and I gave just one tip that was short and sweet. I had two graphics to go with it that came up on the screen. And that took me about 60 seconds to teach that portion. So now I am four minutes, well, about three and a half minutes into after that, I just ended my video quickly and I said thank you so much for this opportunity to teach without school. I hope that everything works out and that I can get approved. I'm really excited to teach this class on how to use Zoom. And then I closed it out. It was less than five minutes. It was about four minutes and 26 seconds. And I hit submit. A couple hours later, it came back approved. I was so excited. So now I'm jumping on. I'm gonna get everything set up for my classes and see if I can get things rolling there. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button, click the bell so you can follow my journey as I start this out school part of my business. I'm really passionate about growing businesses online. And so you can check out some of my other videos. I've got multiple streams of income that I have created uh, that bring in income into our family. And I'm very passionate about creating multiple streams so that you always have a security and you don't have to worry about um, you know, where your money's gonna come from or you're not stuck with just one thing. So click that bell. Uh, I hope to see you around soon. Don't forget to download my guide on how to become an out school teacher and you can find that in the comments below. I will also link some more videos on how to use Zoom as an out school teacher and a couple other uh, of my favorite videos that I've created about out school. Have a great day. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye.